Welcome to our cabin in the woods. These days I'm trying to start pretty much every day with a form of exercise. Because we're in such a beautiful spot, I think I'm just going to take Oki for a walk. Let's go buddy. Wow, this place is way more beautiful than I had anticipated. This is Wedding Bells State Forest, and I really only chose here because it looked like a good little camp spot on the way back for me heading back north. I just came back from a filming project in Sydney, and I need to be in Byron Bay by the weekend. However, instead of rushing all the way up like I would have in the past, I'm really trying to stick to what I used to think was impossible, and that is to be keeping some form of routine whilst I'm living in the van. I want to take you guys along for the whole routine and I think it's starting to rain. I'm going to get back before it gets too muddy. Baby, this is like a triple shot that I'm going with here because I've got a bit of work to do and a big day ahead. And this is something that I've been kind of playing around with. And have a look at this ice cube tray. So what it is, is it actually, it can't leak at all in your freezer if it falls over, it's sealed from the top like this. I found it online and then I think the, you give it a bit of a crunch.
is done. I forgot to report on how good this is. I made it strong, but with the ice melting through it, it is just the perfect consistency, and I'm so sold on the ice coffee train. It's actually cooling off a little bit. Well, it's just started to rain a little bit, which isn't a bad thing because it's gonna help me focus in and zero in as I need to get a couple of hours work done. Here is a little sneaky sneak peek of the project I started filming on the weekend. And before I dive too deep into this project, I wanna take this opportunity to quickly thank today's video sponsor, which is Endel. I've been using Endel for a couple of months now and it's really helped me knuckle down and focus for longer and get distracted less easily. If you don't know what Endel is, it is an award-winning app that uses AI to create personalized soundscapes to help you relax, focus, and sleep. It adapts in real time to personal inputs like the time of day, location, weather, and even your heart rate if you have an Apple Watch or a smartwatch. I actually don't, but it's making me want one because it actually links up the music to your heart rate, which is crazy. What I love about Endel is its simplicity. You simply open the app, select the soundscape that you're after for the time, and away you go. I chuck my headphones on and it just cuts out all distractions. I also find that it makes me want to type faster and work harder. I kind of feel like Bradley Cooper out of Limitless when I've got it on. It just amps you up and gets you really in the mode to crunch work out. And if you're someone with an overactive mind that struggles to go to sleep at night, Endel has recently partnered with the producer James Blake for a wind down series which supports that routine from going from evening to sleep with the help of supportive sounds. If you're interested in giving Endel a go, the first 100 people to click the custom link in my video description below will get one free week of audio experience through Endel. Please let me know what you think. And now it's time for me to focus in. Bloody smashed it, mate. It is definitely time for some lunch. I am starving. And the sun's come out, so I think after lunch, Oki and I are gonna hit the road and we'll keep moving on to the next stop. Hello, sunshine. Although, to be fair, Oki doesn't look all that keen to get up just yet. Well, I think considering it's a bit of a mismatch, came out all right. You wanna come for lunch, Hawk? Lie down, mate. Lie down. Down. <laughs> no, lie down. Lie down. Last bit. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, good boy. <laughs> he really loves that faking. Leave it, don't lick the plate. Well, I don't think either of us really want to leave this spot, but unfortunately we have to be elsewhere tomorrow, so we're about to get going. However, I just quickly wanted to touch on the fact that a lot of you have been messaging me asking me why I don't do weekly videos, and I wanted to address that. For starters, I want to say thank you so much for the fact that you want to watch me that often and that you're not already sick of me, but the reality is 
this channel is all about alternative living and doing life a little bit differently where work isn't just the core focus. And I'm already doing that. I'm still averaging about 30 hours a week work whilst I'm doing this and putting a video up every two to three weeks. And that's because there's also the combination of paramedic work that I do and other projects. For me to then do weekly content, I'd be adding around 20 hours a week of work. So I'd be essentially working over 50 hours a week if I was gonna do weekly content. That is kind of not really the point of this channel and this lifestyle is not to be working that much. It's just not sustainable in the long run. And that's why you see a lot of creators that put out weekly content kind of get burnt out and have to take some time off. I hope that's answered your question. And yeah, I'm really glad that you are keen to see more of me. Just make sure you have the notifications turned on and then that way you'll know when my videos come up. But yeah, generally every two weeks or so, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And ok. I think it's time to leave. Very important that everything goes away before setting off. No way. What do you reckon, bud? <laughs> Are you avoiding my eye contact? So, Oki and I have made it. What do you reckon, Ock? Yeah, probably about 100 metres down the road and realised we kind of have no idea where we're going. We know we've got to head north, but I don't know where I'm going to stay tonight and how far we're going to get because it's 3 o'clock. It's getting dark earlier and earlier, especially with this kind of wet weather. So best plan is to look up somewhere now before we get on the road. So I'll quickly take you through the process of how I find a camp spot if I'm not just stealth camping. I have this whole section for camping apps. The place I found last night was on Wiki Camps. Unfortunately, iOverland is not really used in Australia very much, which is a shame because it's by far the best overseas. Campermate's also pretty good. I use it as a backup to Wiki Camps. So if you look at Wiki Camps, here's where we currently are. I need to make it up to Byron, which is up here. I know I can't make it before dark, so I'm just going to look for something that's on the way. I really just want something that's a good overnight stopover. New Italy... So it's saying it's 108 k's for me. That's a good distance, but that's a paid one. New Italy rest area. Okay, so this one's dog friendly and that sign on the left means donation. So happy to always give a donation. Free rest area behind the museum. Camping is large car park. The reviews, great spot, very clean. We spent a night here, fabulous, clean, perfect overnight stop. Bit of noise from the highway. All right, perfect. This sounds good. And so now to go there, I can just go to directions, get directions, Google Maps. So it's an hour and 25 minutes away and it says I'll get there at 10 past five, which is perfect because it's still light. That's the first time I've paid less than two bucks a litre for diesel in months. Winning. Okay, a lot of you know that I hate filming in front of people, but I want to show you inside this store because I remember when I showed my friends Jazz and Crystal, the van wives, they were obsessed with this fact because they'd never seen it before. Check out what snack options they've got at this petrol station. Could I please get one of the vegan cheeseburger pies, thanks? Okay. Perfect, thank you so much. Are you driving, are you, buddy? Over. <laughs> you can smell the pie. Holy shit, it's hot. Okay, it can wait. So bad, but so good. Yum. There you go, buddy. We made it, buddy. Well, New Italy is very wet. Let's go that. Okay, buddy. 
We're good now? Yeah. Well, this is not actually how I planned for this vlog to go because I hope to take you to a nice sunset at the beach, show Oki swimming, and yeah, like that's how I was gonna cap it out and then show you my nighttime routine. But the thing that I really like at the moment is the fact that even though it's rainy and I'm in a car park, I mean, there's other campers here at least, is that for me mentally, doesn't affect me like it would have probably six months ago. I feel really good and the plan anyway is just to show you what a normal day routine is and a normal day in the van and really the last couple of months up in the north here a normal day has often involved rain. There's been way too much rain. A lot of you would have seen that I came up and volunteered with the flooding up here. I put it a lot on my Instagram stories showing what happened with the floods and thanks to you guys that follow me on Instagram we managed to raise over $2,800 to get pet food for animals that have been stranded by the flood. So I never got the chance to thank you for that but thank you so much to those that got involved. If you asked still interested in donating for flood relief. There's still ongoing issues here. I'm gonna put the link to what I think is probably the best place to donate in the description below as well. So if you're interested in that, just a little side note, they still definitely need help. I have really got into the candles lately. I'm so lucky in this van setup that it feels so comfortable even when it's raining because truly that is the worst time in van life. When it is non-stop rain and you're confined to your van all the time, it's a time that makes what is normally a relatively social lifestyle to become quite isolated in your own vans. and. For people that can't stand up and move around, it's horrible. So yeah, I'm I'm very lucky with this setup. Do you want a pillow? Okay, I have to admit, I did consider making something extravagant tonight to make myself look like a better cook than I am. However, that would not be fair to the video. This is meant to be just a regular day and therefore this is one of my main go-to meals. Just a simple stir fry. I'm using pre-marinated, their sweet chili tofu nuggets. So I'm just gonna cook those ones up first. I like to cook them up first, put them aside, cook the rest and throw it in. And because the door's shut with the rain, I'm gonna crank this one up. All right, they're starting to look good. Just because you need a little bit of extra spice, always. The tofu back. And that's it. It's super basic, really easy. And um, normally I get two, maybe three meals out of that. Well, now the king's eating, I guess I can also eat.
tell you what, miracles do exist. I can't believe this white shirt <laughs> made it through that. That, as I said, is one of my standard go-to meals. I feel like the red chili at the end really makes it. It's so simple and yeah, I'm easily pleased. So I go back to that week after week. It is probably 8 p.m., maybe just close to, and I'm heavily considering making up the bed because I got up at 5.30 this morning to film those drone shots, which I really hope panned out. Right off. Come on. I've lost you out there, buddy, but if you need to wee, go for it. You all good, buddy? Is that better? How wet are you? Okay, back up. Come on. Someone's rocking the electric guitar. <laughs> That is the thing with Oki and having a dog in the van, even when it is raining all the time, you've inevitably got to let him out to pee. Oki has the biggest bladder of any animal or human I've ever met. However, he still needs to pee. He hasn't been out for a while and he's going to come back in wet and dirty. Oh, I see. You're asking whether you can go up on the bed. And I just want it noted with that person playing the electric guitar at the moment, if you listen, Pretty loud, but then I shut this. Can't even hear it. So that person that commented about the highway noise being loud at this place, insulate your van, Karen, because then you don't hear highway noise. But this is my setup for the night. Guess I'll just wash the sheets again. Well, this is my night sorted right here. Although, to be honest, I'd be surprised if I even make it through a chapter at the rate I'm going before I'm turning the lights off. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that it's been enjoyable for you and that it's given you some form of insight as to what it's like on a day-to-day -day living in the van and the routine that I'm trying to kind of make in a lifestyle that historically it's been near impossible to have a routine. It's definitely helping, I think, with my happiness in general and just getting out in nature and doing regular exercise. And of course, spending time with this hairy guy is all contributing to that. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And also in terms of the music, that is the band Alavan Blue. They're actually friends of mine and they're so good. So please give them a follow on Spotify and I'll link them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.